Hi, Air Signs. It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your single segment. So, this is for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is for singles. You're completely single. You're single all the way. This is for uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, star sign, sun sign. If this is your main sign, main sign, then this reading is for you. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We're going to get one of these and we're going to break into that deck. It's for the next seven days, the week ahead. Whenever you watch this, the next seven days. I do have a playlist, so if you uh, want to check out the other ones, hey, that could be for the week ahead as well. I think you guys had this one last time. I really do. I'm, I can't really remember, but I think you did. I think this was the card that popped out last time. Multiple options. Multiple, multiple, multiple options. You could, you, you have choices. Absolutely. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, you do. You got you got no, so many options. You probably don't know what to do. There's a delay though. There is a delay. It's like things are halted, things are stopped. You may not feel like you're worthy. Lack of self-worth here. There is a there is a big opportunity though. There's a big big opportunity. You got to let go of some power struggles so and just go after happiness. I think you're afraid to start something new. Death. Big change is needed. Going, maybe you're going through some sort of transformation right now. You're making some inner changes within yourself. It's a time of transition, right? It's a time of release. So you may not have any desire right now. You may, because this is lack of desire. It is. So you may not have any desire to start something new because you're going through some sort of transformation. Regain, let get, letting go of your ego. Everybody has it. Don't think I'm pinpointing you. There ain't not one person in the world that don't have ego. This is letting go of ego, letting go of the power struggles, deciding I just want to be happy. Letting go of the rejection. You may not have a desire to, you know, get engaged with anybody, and you may it may be delayed, halted, stopped because. It looks like you're blocking a passionate new start because you're you're maybe you're going through some sort of healing. Ah, you need to heal. This is the this is a card of healing. It's reversed. You're not feeling strong enough yet. You're not you're not feeling confident enough yet. And this is a lack of self worth. You may not know. You may be working on that. You're working on something. Oh, son of a bitch! This is working on it. You're working on it. You're working on manifesting the best possible option. That's what's going on here. So you're going to get something really good because you're working so hard. So congratulations. I like it a lot. Yeah, you're releasing something that... Nines are closure. Okay, nines are closing a door. And these, are two, these nines are together. You're closing something. You're closing a chapter in your life. You are. You are. So if you are single, I think right now you're going through a period of closure. And I think that you're releasing something that you held on to. You persevered and you tried to hang on to it for a damn long time. That's what this is. This is exactly what this is. So things are delayed. Things are halted. Things are halted right now. <sighs> because you're going through some sort of awakening. And I feel like right now you're going into hermit mode. You are. Maybe you're going through some, maybe you feel like you're in midlife crisis, you know? But this, this, this thought of being in midlife crisis is just a thought. You're healing. You're healing. You're needing to heal. 
you're needing to heal. You're working on, you're going through some sort of awakening. So right now I think you're, you're, you're not ready to come out of your shell. You're not ready. You're not ready to accept any of these opportunities. Um, that's what it looks like to me. I think this is a big week of transformation. This is the third reading I've done for the singles and they're all pretty much the same. I think everybody is in hermit mode. I really do. I mean, it looks like everybody is in the process of transforming. And that's what's going on here. That's what's going on for you. It's like you keep, it's like I don't have a desire. There's no love in these cards. We got 10 cards here, 11. No love. I'm not ready for love right now. I'm manifesting. I'm I'm bringing stability back to my life because I want the best possible opportunity. You know, so I think that right now you guys are working on closure, you're working on transition, you're working on releasing, closing a door that you held on to. You're closing one of these doors. That's why these doors are here. It's funny. It's funny. That's why these doors are here. There's a, a cup, the door, there's a door or doors. Uh, that door is closed. That door is closed. So you guys are, are closing a door. You're closing a door, and now you have multiple opportunities. But you, as you notice, there's nobody in this card. There's all kinds of doors, but there's no people. Because I don't think you're ready to go through that new door. I don't. I don't. I think right now it's a period of healing, transition, release, um, finding the strength and the desire that's been then lost. Been lost. I think that you're... You're getting over some sort of rejection and you're manifesting a new opportunity and you're working really, really hard to to let go of something. That's what I see. And I think that I really feel like you guys are are, are not accepting. Not not ex you're halt you're in you're in <sighs> No movement. It's like I'm not ready. I'm just not ready. Um Ah, now this this is about you know the hierophant is is about re listening, following, listening to your inner guidance, following your own path, believing in yourself. I think you're committing to yourself. You're committing to listening to your inner guide. I think that you guys are committing to moving forward and the only way that you can do that is with time the time i think you guys are really going through some sort of massive awakening you really are you really are it's a big transformation here and you're believing in yourself this is believing in yourself. And I have to tell you that you are manifesting something at this time. All the hard work that you are putting into yourself is being heard. It's being heard. It's being seen. And you are going to receive a really big reward for all this hard work that you are doing on yourself. Trust me, you are. Is there new love coming in? You have options, like I said. This is multiple options. You have multiple choices. But you have to make the decision. Which one do you want? Do you even want any of them? I think right now you are undecided as to what the hell you want you're like you know i need to work on me right now because i see that and you have you have so many options you probably just i don't think you want any of them i don't know it doesn't look like i don't think you do i think right now you're working on you yeah you're working on healing you're working on your happiness I think that, I don't know if I said this before, but I think by summertime, you're going to get the golden opportunity that you have manifested. But I think it's going to be by summertime. I think this is a week of healing, of transition and transformation. I mean, that's what this is. It's a week of transition and transformation. Healing, 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 healing from within. You're healing. 
You're healing. You're healing from rejection. That's what this is. So you may not be ready for a passionate new start because you're transforming right now. You're going through a renewal, a spiritual renewal. That's what's happening here. And it's going to lead you to extreme bliss by summertime. So is this a week of love flying into your life? No, it's not. It's a week of transformation. We'll see what happens next week. Stay tuned.